I know Chiggs is in here recording some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say, so you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. I like you. Come on. And just us black folk, they were like, "Yo, you were scared." I was like, first of all, Ti didn't go yelling at Ali Sadiq. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't. It wasn't about. Fear. It wasn't about that. Yeah. Black people, black men, and black we have to learn how to be able to say apologize without going. Oh, that was shit. What the fuck you mean? Right. I I apologized to him because I was like, I'm sorry you misinterpreted that because he was like feeling a sort of way because he has respect for me as a comedian and he was like, man, that kind of not hurt yeah. him but like, yo, I really looked at you like yeah, a oh, yeah. ass, You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's like if I was a rapper and T, I was like, man, you garbage. I'd be like, fuck, man. And so I looked at it from his point of view also, which, which we have to learn empathy. I looked at it from his point of view. But I'm still saying that it's still, there's protocol in comedy. And he's going to know that, that it just happened. That's the way it is. But I said, the fact that you're a superstar, you're going to be able to cut the line. That's just what it is. It is what it is. Right. You know well, what I mean? I mean, he... He, he stated that too. It's not like it's coming out of your mouth too, you know. So, yeah. Um, and so, so if he, you know, so he has, you know, Ti's created an image for himself where he's, I guess, some will say he earned the right to, de to, to get these particular um, advantages over, you know, people. You know what I mean, or whatever the case may be. That's not even the question here. The question is, is like two grown men um, that um, I guess initially ha they had a dispute about something and they talked it out and that's what ultimately where we should get to in any place you know what i'm saying oh you can't turn off comments can you i can turn yeah i can yeah you should yeah that'd be dope yeah I yeah let me see i don't know you're gonna shoot oh okay turn on there we just i got you okay cool yeah so yeah man so um um, yeah, so when we when we talked, you know, at first... But when I was there, there, but when I was there, when, real quick, when, mm -hmm. when I was there, when I was there, yo, like, it was all love. Like, I mean, that's what I got from everything. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was cool. Everybody was talking. Everybody it was, was at, man, Everybody was asking questions. T.I. was cool as fuck. Is he, he, le he left. T.I. He is a rap superstar, man. We was in the presence of a rap superstar who has represented the South for so many years, who I fuck with. And I was like, and you're in front of a, a motherfucker, master of comedy. You a master of the hip hop game. What's up? And it's all it is all good. It's everybody right. in here that are masters of their field. And it's like boom. And I saw and I and I was like, let's get a picture. I fan I was like, yo, T.I., yo. But I still was like, at the beginning when I first got off, I'm like bewildered, like, wait, he's doing comedy? Right. It was just like I just got off stage. And imagine the host telling you, hey. I'm not going to stop the show. The show's not over because somebody wants to come up. I said, who? T.I. I, I think it was not so much that. Uh, well, yeah, but I think it was, I think a lot of people kind of took a different way with, with, when you were like, didn't understand the reasoning why you don't watch comedians. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. First of all, I don't like really watching comedy shows in general because I do it. It's like working at McDonald's and wanting to eat the food. It's like, I do it already. It's like when my mother would make food for us, she wouldn't want to eat. She didn't feel like eating because she, she was cooking it all the time. She's right. like, I'm, I don't want to. I was like, it wasn't about putting him down. And, it's, and you know, here's the problem with us is that anytime we say a little bit, like we, we, we critique each other, people always go to, you're hating. And it's not that. It's not right. about hating, man. It's, right. not, it's just about, like when T.K. Kirkland, when I first started doing comedy, T.K. Kirkland, he said, you know, in Chicago, I opened up for TK Kirkland. I would open up for TK. And TK would say, how long have you been doing comedy? Like, I'd be like, oh, man, I'm on my seat. He knew me when I was in my second year of comedy. He goes, I said, I've been doing comedy for like two years. He goes, okay, now, you know, you're not a comedian, right? You're a comedian about seven to ten years. This is not putting you down, homie. You're just an aspiring comedian. But you are not a comedian. Remember that. Seven to ten years, then you can say, I'm a comedian. I just want to give you that advice. Right. Eat to the motherfucking cat. You are right. not a comedian. See, a lot of people, a lot of motherfuckers think they're a comedian just because <laughs> they're not on the motherfucking stage. No. 
That's not how it goes. Seven to ten years. And he said that to me, but I didn't take it as a put down. He was right. just being real. And then when I was in my process, I go, man, TK was right. Because right. I didn't have no chops. I was funny. But then right. once I got to eight, nine years, I go, wow, what a difference. Right. Now I actually feel like a comedian. I can do 45 minutes. I can do an hour. And I got it, you know? And mm. so and even in the, in the, in the um, when I auditioned for Montreal back in the day, and they used to have Aspen Comedy Festival, and they would say, oh, you're not ready. You're not ready. And I'd be like, what the fuck you mean I'm not ready? And then I was like, damn, they were right. Like, they were right. I didn't have anything to say. I was just funny, but I didn't have an angle. I didn't have, like, a story. But once people started seeing me do stuff about my dad, and when it was tight shit, they were like, now you're ready. Then I got into all the festivals. Right. And I totally understood that. So I get and I, I get why T.I. was a little upset because there, I wasn't the only one coming at him. I didn't even come at him. There right. were other comedians dogging him, like, oh, man, you, what yeah. you fuck? There were cats yeah. saying, and so he took it out on me a little bit, which I understood, because he was like, yo, man, all y'all motherfuckers shut the fuck up. I, 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 you guys think I'm playing a game. So I understood why he went off on me, but I didn't even trip on that, because we ended up with a good conversation, because T.I. at the end said, hey, I just want all of us to, like, uplift each other. We're all black, man. We shouldn't be fighting each other, man. I want to be able to be in the game to help you all, to help all of y'all. Shit, fuck that. And it was a good conversation. It was people wanted to be negative and all that bullshit. And, I was like, well, and then I even thanked T.I. I said, T.I., thank you for <clears throat> up, upping my numbers. <laughs> he goes like this. He goes like this. It's my pleasure. My pleasure, man. I'm just, that's what I'm here for. He's like, see, we have to understand. I, and I told him, I said, do you mind if I imitate you? I said, you don't. Because we had another conversation last night. And right. I said, yo, do you mind if I imitate you? He goes, see, guy, for, see, LeVar Walker's always imitating me, man. LeVar Walker, yeah. But he said, but see, you had an experience with me. So it would make sense that you can go on stage and talk about me because it's true. Yo, he's a de yo. He he be thinking shit differently. Man. I'm telling you. And he said, uh, he said, I said, I said, he said uh, he wants to get into more physical comedy too. He wants to be able to like, I want to be able to do physical shit. And I said, Ti, huh, really? Ti, but you be thinking you too cool though. How you yeah, gonna do it? You too, swaggy, said, like, you too mean. I said, yeah. you too mean to be silly. He goes, Why does everybody think I'm mean? I go, Well, well. we can go. Which album do you want to talk about, bro? <laughs> Even on T.I.'s album cover, he's like this. Yeah. 